Poku here with another draft league analysis. So this league was uh, RU and below. So three RU mons, two, uh, three NU mons, three PU mons, and then three mons from below PU. So immediately from my first pick, I wanted something that fills many roles. And I wanted a fire type because there weren't that many good fire types in the draft. And Arcanine's perfect for that. It has a teleport and momentum. It has a ton of different fire type moves. It can be run physically, offensively, especially offensively. It has a lot of good coverage too, like good fighting coverage, good steel coverage, good dragon coverage, fairy coverage, psychic coverage. It gets scorching sands, gets electric coverage, and it has will o -Wisp toxic, and it has morning sun for reliable recovery. It has three decent abilities. I think intimidate being the one that I'm going to bring the most, and Arcanine is something I can bring every week, and it will do pretty well, and that's really good for your first pick. Second pick, I was going for a similar, similar uh, like idea. I wanted something with momentum, like flip turn, and had re reliable recovery. There's not that many good water types in the draft, and Milotic has coil, uh, it has ice beam water coverage, and that's basically it. It's just a really good mod. It, it can haze, it can drag and tail out. And the thing is, both of these mods can roar. This mod has roar, and Milotic has drag and tail. So these mods can momentum, but they can also just, like, if I hazard stack and I can just start roaring things out it's, and dragon tilling out, it's really good. And on this team, I actually did not get hazard stack, but it's something I can make a free agent transaction on later on if I see a team that's weak to hazard stacking. And third mon, again, I just wanted a solid mon. This has stealth rocks, it gives me a ground immunity, which is something that's really important, so my opponent can't just spam earthquake. Uh, Bronzong weak to fire if I run levitate has two big resists, and just a lot of coverage. And, you know, I can run Calm Mind, I can run Iron Defense, it has Body Press, you know, Trick, Toxic. It's mainly just a good Stealth Rocker, that's all. That's the only reason I wanted it. Uh, Galvantula, again, I only got it for a certain reason. It's a, it's a decently fast Electric type, it has Sticky Web, and it has really good coverage in Electric, Grass, and Bug. It's really good coverage, and then, yeah, so it's basically, sorry, I don't have much to say about this, it's just... These mons are pretty self-explanatory when you look at it. Like, I guess I can try to point out something interesting, but really not. Like, Thunder Wave? Like, what does Galvantula do? Just Sticky Web and Attack. I guess I can, like, Choice Specs and, like, Thunder, which is actually really powerful. So, yeah. Just a good, powerful Stealth Rock. There's a good, powerful Sticky Webber. And then, uh, Sandaconda. I can There's no, uh, weather in this league, so... I have to run Shed Skin or Sandville, but Sandville is useless because it's like a weather ability. And Santa Conda is basically mini Zygarde, just it has no thousand arrows and it has no extreme speed. It gets coil, it gets a glare. It has a lot more coverage than Zygarde though. And yeah. And it gets Stealth Rock, so I have another Stealth Rocker. So I can like run Stealth Rock Bronzong and then run offensive here, or I can run uh, Stealth Rock Santa Conda and run some setup Bronzong, which is actually really scary and underrated. Next, I wanted to focus on hazard removal because I have good stealth rockers and I have sticky web. So, Lurantis, uh, Defog, I completed the Firewater Grass Core. It also a uh, Leaf Storm Contrary, which means Leaf Storm is going to boost this special attack by two. I have superpower, which attack and defense go up. It has decent coverage, it has synthesis for re reliable recovery. And uh, something to note about this team so far is that I have Shed Skin here, which uh, I can cure status, and I have Marvel Scale, which I can run a Flame Orb Milotic. So I have two status absorbers, and on a decently bulky team, I think that's really useful. Another thing I wanted to go for was a Heal Beller, which I got later on. And at this point in the draft, uh, I knew there were two Fairy types that I wanted. I got one of them, and the thing was, I didn't think anyone was going to draft them, and at this point, like, Everyone already got a decent fairy or had a, a pick like two or three NU mons. So I think my fairy was good and I just left it for the end. So then I wanted to actually drop into a tier that a lot of people haven't dropped into. And there's actually not that many good Pokemon. And it's the lowest tier, which is below PU. And the first mon that I got from there was Mr. Mime Galarian. I think this thing is mistiered because it can run Eviolite, which makes it actually decently bulky. It has 100 base speed, it has a ton of coverage, like Ice Coverage, it has Freeze Dice, Dazzling Gleam, Energy Ball, Focus Blast, uh, 
and good psychic coverage, and it gets rapid spin. So I have two hazard removers, and rapid spin is really useful because I can set up sticky webs and not have to remove them with defog, which is something I really value. This thing gets nasty plot and calm mind, so it's a decent setup mod. And I don't have to on Evil Light, so I can later on in the draft I can like draft something that has to an Evil Light. Next, another rapid spinner Hitmonchan. I didn't have a fighting type, and I thought this fighting type was pretty good. It's decently specially bulky, making a really good assault best mod. It has a lot of coverage. It gets priority and mock punch, so now I have a two decent priority. I mean, Ice Shard M Galarian Mr. Mime does not count because it just doesn't have a good attack stat, but yeah, mock punch here, extreme speed on Arcanine, so it's really good. Like, priority is actually something I value a lot. And then I dropped into the lowest tier again, and I got uh, Evil Light Mr. Uh, no, Evil Light, Type Null, super bulky, it gets U-turn for momentum, so I have another momentum on, and it's mainly just there to take hits, spread status around, I can also Sword Sands if I really wanted to, it's mainly just a really good defensive mod, and actually the thing is, with Evil Light on this thing, I think it's bulkier than Porygon 2, and you know how bulky Porygon 2 is, so, you know, have fun facing this. And at this point in the draft, though, I didn't really have that many strong attackers. Like, yes, I can set up. Yes, I have Sticky Web and all that. But I really need to set up for my monster to actually do a lot of damage, like Coil Sanaconda. I'd probably have to Howl or Curse with Arcanine. Milotic, the same thing. Not that much special attack. Delvantula is not that strong. Hitmonchan, doesn't have, it's not like super, super strong. I guess like Banded Close Combat, but like that's not that super strong. And then, I mean, Lorantis, again, has the superpower. So... For that case, I got Luxray. I have Guts on this, and I can run Flame Orb, so its attack is boosted by one stage. And it has 120 base attack, so... Yeah, super strong Mon. Facade, really strong. Wild Charge, it gets good coverage. And yeah. And if I don't want to run the Guts Luxray, I can run an Intimidate Luxray with Volt Switch, which is really good. And then for my last two Mons, so I had to get one more uh, lower than PU. And I already know I wanted the fairy type from NU. And at this point in the draft, everyone had picked their NU mons or had at least one fairy. So I didn't expect my fairies to get taken. And there's two mons I could have gone. So I think I was safe on that. So then drop into the lowest tier before everyone uses their last pick on the lower tiers. Because like that's what everyone should do. And wait. Okay, I don't know why this doesn't like show. But I think I have to remove four mons. Okay. Let's go back. So I got Sligu. It's basically mini Gudra, but with Eviolite, I, I have the freedom to run whatever I want. Right? Because I can run like status moves and still have Eviolite. It's still really, really bulky. And yeah, Sligu is just one of those mons that. And I didn't have a dragon type, so I was just like, oh, let's get Sligu. It also has some like Mimi Curse set. Counter's okay. And it gets decent coverage. Like for a mon like, in the lowest tier, I think Sligu is really good. And finally, I wanted one of the another. Uh, so I have aromatherapy here to cure my party of status, which I feel like toxic spam's really good. And another mon heal bell here and aromatherapy. So I have two mons I can cure status on my team, which is really good. And aroma T actually has a lot of coverage. It has nasty plot and calm mind for good setup. But then it has a fairy coverage, it gets moon blast, energy ball, it gets psychic coverage to hit the poison types, it gets thunderbolt, toxic, you know, wish with a huge H with a really good HP stat, so I can pass wishes around my team. And Aroma Tees is looking to be a really good glue like glue piece to my success. It also has flash cannon, which like, yeah. So you know. And does this thing get reliable recovery? I actually don't think it does, but Oh yeah, I guess Wish. So yeah, so it gets Reliable Recovery too. Charge Beam, okay. Draining Kiss. So yeah, overall just really good Mon. And I'm really happy that I got it last and actually saved it for last because I know no one was going to pick this. And yeah, my team has 12 Mons I think I can bring to every week. And they're very, very good. And they're very, very versatile. So I think my opponents are going to have a pretty tough time prepping. And I think I have lots of options with my prep, so hopefully my prep is easier. And yeah, hopefully I win this league because I'm going for a W. So yeah, let's go.